You too, what's going on? Kyle again from me, Pool Supply. Today we are actually going to do another quick fix video on Pentair's Creepy Crawly Sand Shark. We are going to show you guys how to replace these seal flaps on the bottom. Stay tuned. All right, and we're back. So again, today we are going over Pentair's Creepy Crawly Sand Shark Suction Side Pool Cleaner. We are actually going to tear this thing apart and show you guys how to get access to the seal flap. Um, over time, these do get worn from uh, constant use in your pool as well as water chemistry. So you will wanna make sure that you replace these um, as often as needed if you see tears or if they're just super thin. This actually helps with the functionality of the cleaner to make sure that this oscillator in here actually gets a proper seal on the ground to make sure that the cleaning path of this cleaner is doing its job. So very important. So I'll actually walk you guys through how to get access to these as well as how to replace them. If you guys haven't seen our other videos on how to get to the internals of this, go ahead and check out the links in the description. Uh, we'll show you guys how to do all of that uh, in terms of removing the bumper as well as removing the actual top housing. Um, but for now, I've already done it pre-done, so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the top housing. Set that onto the side. And here we are. So in order to get to these seal flaps correctly, the best thing you could do is actually remove the bottom chassis pad here. So this is also what scrubs the bottom of the floor. And again, check out the links in the description. We actually walk you guys through how to actually remove this and replace it. Uh, but today we're gonna focus on just the seal flaps here. So let me, uh, bear with me a minute. Let me pull this apart and then we'll uh, jump into that. All right, I got the chassis pad off. So here we are. You have basically just the raw cleaner. You have the actual frame, as well as all your gear set in here. Um, and then you flip it over and all you got left here is your actual seal flaps. So really, really, really simple. You literally can grab both sides of the seal flap. If for some reason this is already deteriorated and all you have, um, I suggest using like some kind of a smaller flathead screwdriver. It definitely helps get in there to be able to lift it out. But I'm dealing with a uh, slightly newer unit, so everything's good to go here. All you're gonna do is right here on this front edge, I just lift up. Again, don't be shy, everything's rubber. And as you can see, it pulls right off and actually has a pre-done slot here to make sure that it gets installed correctly when it goes back on. So typically your edge here, since it follows with the edge of the cleaner, is going to get reinstalled this direction. So pretty simple to make sure that you guys don't uh, install it incorrectly. And to basically put your new one on, you're just aligning this slot with the slot that's provided here. So. You do have to do a little work and you do have to kind of push it on there, pressure fit it really nice. Um, you can actually lift up this inside flap to help you get a little bit closer if you need to. Um, but from here, you just uh, just pushing through until you get everything installed correctly. So bear with me as I push this on. So one good pro tip is actually start from this rounded edge so that you seat that part first and then just work your way towards the, the back of the cleaner here. So then it just sits in there perfect. You wanna make sure that you lift this uh, internal part up here and make sure that this is sitting flush with the chassis to know that you got everything in there correctly. Um, if not, you're just gonna to have to, again, you can use a small Phillips head screwdriver, uh, not Phillips, I apologize, a small flathead screwdriver to kind of help ease that into the slot. You just wanna be very careful because it is a rubber. You don't wanna take the chance of ripping anything. So just be careful when you do that. Um, if not, everything can be done with your fingers. So again, today we uh, showed you guys how to tear apart the creepy crawly sand shark and uh, replace your seal flaps with a new seal flap kit. Again, make sure you guys check out all the links below. Hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, we got a lot more videos coming your way and we appreciate all the support. I'm Kyle with Eat Pool Supply. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Subscribe today if you haven't subscribed. Check out the links below. We got a lot more content coming your way. Thank you.